So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, scraping up all this die core, and then there's uh, screw heads under all under these things. So we're going to be removing the screws. There's one poking out right there. So we have to remove all the screws holding all these little connectors down. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to be taking up these solar panels. But the first thing you want, we want to do is we want to disconnect, if I can, uh, disconnect these do you want the battery power solar off? connections. Do you want the battery power off? No. And this is a tool that you use. And you just slide it. There's little tabs right here. This just slides under those tabs to release it. If I can get it to release. here and we're going to remove everything. So as I said, you just use your putty knife and we're going to scrape up all this putty and as we expose uh, the screw heads that are holding uh, these things on, which I have to figure out where they are, but anyway, so as we uncover screws, but basically we're going to take all this off, we're going to take all these wiring connections off, and then uh, we're going to take the solar panels off. So uh, we'll get started getting all these connections undone, and then we'll come back when we start the solar panels. Okay, we're also going to be uh, removing the wine guard uh, from the roof, and uh, there's there are four screws, one in each one of these feet, and then we'll be cutting this and disconnecting that coax cable. But we're, we're going to be leaving um, this part intact uh, and just covering it over and sealing it up. Okay, now we're figuring out how to get the solar panels up. So we're just using a pry bar and a piece of, I'm using a piece of PVC board to protect the roof. And you just go around and keep prying. Yeah, you might want to get it under, yeah. Get it under more, yeah, there you go. That was the first pop. That's the thing. You gotta, there's like a big circle of die core and you have to pop it off of that see there's another one right there so there's like a big blob of die core in the center of each no go to that one there's a big blob of die core in the center of each solar square and you have to pop it there you go so you just you just have to keep going square by square by square. And popping each one of those dollops of die core in the center of each one of those solar cell squares. Yep, that's it. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. And start removing these solar panels. Okay, so we are cutting off uh, the 12 volt power to the wine guard. And then we're going to unscrew the, the coax uh, just in case there's a, that nut. Yeah, right there. Just in, just in case there's a future.
Mm. Mm. Twist it up. Uh, All right, it's gone. Don't throw it down. I'm not going to. Bye bye. Okay, so we are finally done. We got all the panels off. We found what worked the best is a crowbar and a thin piece of uh, PVC board or wood board. And basically you just go under the solar panel and break it free from each dollop. Now uh, we just need to take our uh, scraper to our paint scrapers and clean. <laughs> he likes that one the best and uh, scrape off all the uh, decor, and then we'll get on with cleaning this roof. So this has taken us what? What time is it? An hour. Oh, this took us an hour, but there's three of us, so it could take a single person three hours. Too bad. Okay, so we have the roof pretty well clean. Now we're going to use a Zep mold and mildew to clean this up more. Uh, and then we're going to use um, mineral spirit substitute to take all the remaining residue uh, off the roof. And uh, then we'll be ready to start doing new glass solar panels. We are, we're now going to uh, start putting the solar panels together. And uh, these are uh, Bouge RV 9BB glass solar panels. And uh, these are the mounting feet, uh, the Bouge RV mounting feet that go with them. I bought a bag of... Uh, a little bit larger quarter inch washers because as you can see these washers are so small and this hole is so big that it's really better to have a larger washer uh, uh, small washer bolt larger washer locking washer and nut And then we tighten it. There you go. Okay, so now, uh, now I'm going to do uh, all the feet on this panel. Um, basically, I'm just going to start putting all the panels we're doing 600 watts so we have six panels so I'm just going to put all uh, the feet on all the panels and get that uh, all done and then I'll be back okay now so I've got the panels the feet put on the panels I'm using this 3m adhesive uh, promoter and I'm going to wipe some on the feet and then I'm going to be putting uh, VHB tape on each foot I'll show you a little bit of that. Press it on really well. We use this VHB tape to stick these panels to the roof. Okay, so, so we put uh, VHB tape. This is double-sided tape. 
Uh, we're going to put it on every mounting foot. This is what we uh, use to stick the solar panels to the roof. And then we'll be covering the feet from the top onto the roof with a turnabout tape as a redundant form of adhesion. Uh, and, and that's what we use. No drilling, just uh, DHB tape and a turnabout tape. And these panels will be rock solid on the roof and there'll be no risk of them flying off or pulling off or anything. They'll, they'll be up there for years. Um, so it's a great way to put your solar panels up without drilling new holes. Okay, so we've got the VHB tape on uh, every all the feet. Uh, here's our two cables. Uh, one's plus, one's minus. When we get up there, we're going to be putting two panels fairly close together because we're putting these panels in series, which means we're going to put a plus and a minus from one panel together, and then we're going to take the leftover plus and minus back to the main connection that goes down to the solar controller. Um, we're going to put those together. So we're going to put two panels each. We're going to put pairs in series. So we're going to put two, wire two panels in series, and then we're going to wire each of those pairs in parallel back to the solar controller. And that uh, is going to give you um, the most charging during daylight hours uh, that you can get from a solar array. Okay. Coming down at you. Ready? So we have the roof as clean as we can get it. Looks pretty good. Uh, definitely a blank, a blank screen for our new solar panels, a blank canvas. Okay, so now we've gone through and we've a turnabon taped every hole uh, that was in every hole or every suspect um, spot on the roof after we removed the solar panels and cleaned everything up. I taped over the wires coming from the uh, old wine guard uh, Wi-Fi whatever thing, antenna thing. Um, so those connections are still there. One's a 12 volt power supply if they ever want to use it. And then it, uh, it's a coax cable if they ever want to use it. So um, we've got all those patched up now. And we are ready to start solar paneling. Okay, we have just laid the new solar panels up, up here on the roof uh, to get an idea of the best fit. So we have two up there by the skylight. We have uh, two flanking the air conditioner. And then we have two on the back corner. Uh, well, one behind the air conditioner and then one on the back corner. So now we've got them dry fitted and I have them end to end where the cables are closest to each other because as I said before we're wiring them in series which means you have to hook a positive and negative from each panel and then you're going to be running the leftover positive and negative back to a branch connector that we're going to hook on the original uh, MC4 connectors coming out of the roof so uh, each pair that's going to be a pair so I've tried to put the wire ends as close together as possible. This is going to be a pair. Um, so again, there, the wires are end to end here. And then, as I said before, those two are end to end. Okay, so now we are going to uh, uh, clean under the feet. I'm going to use some 3M uh, adhesive promoter. And then we're going to uh, peel off our VHB tape. Uh, covers and stick them in place. So we'll come back. Alright, so we've laid all the panels 
and since we're wiring them in series, I clipped the positive and the negative together already. And now Jane is going through and uh, putting a turnabon tape over every foot, uh, mounting foot, as a redundant measure um, to keep the panel stuck to the roof. And so uh, she's going to do that. And I'm going to go down and start working on the solar controller connection. There you have it. All right, so I'm back up. Okay, so I'm back up on the roof. And I'm going to be making my connections with these branch connectors. Uh, so then I'm going to be get it, making the positive connections with the positive wire and the negative and each negative and this wire is marked negative so the negative is black so it will go on this branch connector so I'm going to be bringing the positive I'm going to be bringing the positive and negative con connections from every pair of solar panels to those uh, to their corresponding positive or negative branch connector. So I'll do that and show you what it looks like at the end. All right, so I put my my cap that screws onto the end of the connector. Then I put my grommet and now I've slid the wire up into the connector. So now I'm going to crimp that. All right, so now I made the crimp. And you have to have a special crimper, uh, which Bouge RV sells. They basically sell this whole kit, so you can uh, make your own connections. And this is what it looks like. You have to put the way you have to put the crimp, crimp connector inside the jaws. Okay, and then you slide the you slide this over you slide that over and you push it on And the way that you know it took is you try to pull it pull it off and you can't pull it off so it snaps down onto the connector and then you screw these ends together and your connection is made then I use a regular pair of pliers and uh, the MC4 tool and you twist the two halves together until they till they meet see how they meet there that's sealed so now this connector basically now uh, now this side of the connection is completed so I'll add the other one to the negative and I can go ahead and make my connections um, with this pair so I can take it back to the branch connectors I've already shown you. Uh, grommet on, I have the cap on, I have the grommet on, and I have the uh, connector inside my jaws waning for the connection 
there you can get a good view how it's supposed to be in the well it's supposed to be a little straighter but basically the tabs are in the jaw there and then you crimp it okay so there you can see I had the, the cap and the grommet on and the um, connector the uh, crimped the connector on and so now I'm just going to slide these two together um, push it down until it clicks and then screw the cap push this down until it clicks and then screw the cap up on it and tighten it using my uh, tightening tool and my pliers and I'll make that'll complete my next connection now remember you want to push the connectors together and once it snaps in place you can't pull them apart that's how you know you've made a good connection all right so now I clipped in my my positive and negative and I run it under the panel and so I need then to make my connectors to hook down to the branch connectors okay uh, we are done. Here's all of our connections, and I re cord the areas that had die core, and I've taped uh, our wires off to make them look nice. Um, and here. Our handiwork. We're done. 600 watts.